What's going on guys? Fatal Krause here or Steven. And um as you can see by my garage, it's um empty. Yep. Uh half my cars are gone. Um, you know, the space docker, that big SWAT van, the snow cars, the heavy cutter, the clown van, all those cars are gone. And all I have left is the Mariachi car, my banana, the Sia, and my hot knife, which is DLC. Now, if you're wondering why the modded cars are gone, and that's because in the new, in the most recent patch, what patch 1.7, they got rid of all the modded cars, the main modded cars, they got rid of all of them, so you cannot get them back, which is really unfortunate, because I st still never got my cop snow car, but hey, I'm sure there's going to be a way to get these cars back, and um, oh, it just, it just sucks, okay, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna read you I'm gonna read you guys um the, the the patch notes so you guys know what um what what they are I'm gonna I'm gonna start from uh, the beginning so uh players are now able to sell vehicles that they have purchased from websites players are now able to run in apartments and garages so you can you can actually run now in your apartment as you can see so you don't have to walk really slow you can actually run now we got um. Reward for being a good sport has been increased from 1,000 to 2,000. So now you get $2,000 each time for being a good sport. Fixed an issue where character tattoos would disappear when encountering cutscenes. So there was an issue where your tattoos would disappear. They fixed that. Corrected an issue where players could make their vehicles and passengers invisible. Sticky bombs can no longer be thrown during the countdown from the start of GTA races. Resolved issues where players were having problems accessing their accounts. Corrected issues with bounties. Fixed an issue where players will, were charged full price for ammo for grenade launchers even if they were only buying one grenade. Fixed an issue where grenades could be filled up to maximum during UGC GTA races. Team balancing has been improved. Friends and crew members are now grouped together and a rank is taken into consideration. So now you're ranked, now you're grouped uh, considering to your rank. So if you're rank 50, you'll be grouped with someone rank 51, stuff like that. The the futo can be can now be recovered normally after being impounded. Fixed an exploit where players were able to clone tanks. So, you know, cloning cars, all that stuff, is is exploited now. I mean, um, is fixed as you can tell. Resp respawning has been improved to reduce the chance of repeatedly spawning in the same location. That's good. So now, when you die, you you won't spawn in the same location ten times in a row. You know. Cash rewards has been adjusted in races, t death matches, and parachuting to allow easy to allow increase in payouts. Now you get more money for finishing a race and deathmatch and parachuting. There is now a 25% RP bonus at the end of deathmatch missions, capture the flag, la last team standing, survival, player kills, and AI kills when playing in free aim. This gives extra credit for completing actions with more skill. So now if you if you kill someone using free aim um, in these game modes you get more um, you get more RP. Until a race has been verified, players cannot earn RP in uh, U UGC races. So unless the race is verified, you won't get RP. So I'm guessing this means you can't repeat the race on and on with that glitch. Added a new feature to allow easier personal vehicle retrieval from the impound. This costs $250. So now, if your car gets impounded, instead of having to go in there and like fight it out, you can just pay $250 and get it out. Reduce the chance of being noticed by the cops in stolen vehicles. So now, if you steal a vehicle online, you won't get caught right away. Impromptu races cannot, can no longer be launched when in a capture the flag or last team standing. This this one's a cool one. Hold up shopkeepers have now have access to ammunition. You have been warned. So, pretty self-explanatory. Shopkeepers now have guns, so when you go in there robbing them, if you get blown away with a shotgun, now <laughs> you know why. Uh, due to changes in deathmatch weapon locking, some objectives will no longer appear in this specific type of match. I'm not sure what that means. Weapon rewards, e example shotgun and cop car, are blocked during weapon lock deathmatch. Okay, so if if the weapon if it's a weapon lock deathmatch, you can't go in a cop car and get a shotgun. During weapon lock deathmatches, ammo drops will contain Molotovs. So now you get Molotov cocktails in uh, the dropouts, the the ammo drops. Players who, do not, who, players who do not participate during survivals can now be flagged as such by other players in the group and removed from the survival. So this is this is a good ad. Um, pretty much now if you're in a survival and a guy is AFK for too long and just slowing you guys down, you can kick him. 
new icons added new icons added for different for differing types of personal vehicles so now when you call a truck for example the icon will, will look like a truck a car icon will look like a car on the map new awards added for the creators I don't know what that means players are giving one RP for every like they received for their creations in the creators in the creators I'm not I'm guessing there's a new creating mode leaderboards functionality has been removed from from any non rockstar content example no access to social club leaderboards in corona slash end of mission no best laps as personal best match crew or head-to-head etc so you there's there's no leaderboard functionality if you're playing uh, with friends or trying to get your personal best passive mode is now free so now instead of paying a hundred dollars it's free uh... three new public playlists created for various group sizes two new capture only playlists and updates in current theme playlists will with relevant capture missions so apparently there's new playlist so let's check this shit out let's go to online oh right here creator oh, okay the creator beta is here this is what they mean design your dream race or deathmatch using GTA creator awesome so there's that what else do we have so nothing there So there's a new verified section. Um, that that's all so far. There's the, and there's creator mode. So there's that. And the last thing is a new option has been added to allow players to fill their weapons with ammo in job coronas. This is this this is a one-off payment costing twenty thousand dollars. The ability to fill each weapon individually remains. So now when you're in the the lobby, you can you can pay twenty dollars twenty twenty thousand dollars and get full ammo for all your guns so that's also good but guys yeah that's all the patch notes um let's check out this creator you guys are cr uh, the creator beta is out so you guys can check that out uh create some missions do some cool things with it have fun with it i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna have some fun with this right now so um that's it guys and um yeah go down the go down the patch later